I must be going mad. You're reading too many plays. When's Macbeth on? Tuesday, two weeks. Do you like your part? It's crap. Here, get another one for the road. Two, two more large whiskies. Then we'll be off, I promise. To drink or not to drink? What a stupid question. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going for a piss. I'll wait for you outside. Hold oh, that this. Two, two solid flesh would melt, thaw, or resolve itself into a dew. The air bites shrewdly. It is bloody cold. be right. That's pentameter. Our lines are quatrameter. Not always. You're forgetting Act 3, Scene 5. Um, my lines are pentameter. I say, why, how now, Hecate? You look angrily. Yes, but are those lines authentic? I mean, it has been suggested that... What? Uh, well, that the whole scene might have been, well, uh, written by somebody else. By somebody else? Lines by somebody else? Would you have me knock the head off you with the bottom of a broom? Oh, very well. I'll say it if you insist. A drum, a drum, Donald Bain. Sergeant, what are these so withered and so wild in their attire? Look like witches, sir. Witches? Aye, sir. Well, move them on. Get them out of here. The king, my father, is due here any moment. Very good, sir. Hey, you, move along there. Where did they go? Did you see that, sir? 
Vanished so they did into thin air. Huh. Well, that's got rid of them anyhow. Well done, Sergeant. Looks like the Hurl Lee Burl is done, sir. Yes, the battle's fought and won. Aye, but for a set of son and all, good thing. I hate fighting in the dark. Now, in the dark, must you say that? Yeah. It's all anyone talks about round here. Darkness, blood, gore, daggers. I'm very sensitive to verbal imagery. I don't like it. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't realise. I'll try not to do it again. Good. <laughs> Potion is this? Mambo Jumbo. Go gather wood. We'll light the fire. Go on. comes the king, your father, no, sir. Hail, King Duncan! Hail, King Duncan! Hail, King Duncan! Hail, King Duncan! Hail, father! Ah, Donald Bain, it's you. What bloody man is this? No need to swear, father. Oh, this, this is the sergeant. Go ahead, Sergeant. Say to the King the knowledge of the broil. <laughs> well, Sire. Don't for it stood the merciless MacDonald from the Western Isle. Oh, which Western and I? Ireland, Sire. Bloody Irish! Sergeant, your verbal imagery. I asked you not to talk like that. I did ask you uh, not to sir, talk I, like I just that. Just slip out. Stop out. Uh, uh, well, Sire. This MacDonald of Cairns and Gallowglasses is well supplied. But all's too weak. For brave Macbeth carved out his passage to the Amsindom from his nave to his chops. For God's sake! But he did, sir. I split him, he did. From his breeches belt to the knob of his gullet. Excellent. And then what? <laughs> Fixed his heed upon our battlements. Whose head? MacDonald, sire. And that's not all, sire. The Thane of Corridor, he began a dismal conflict, but brave Macbeth confronted him and curbed his lavish spirit. And so the victory fell on us. Good. No more that Thane of Corridor shall deceive our frozen interests. Donald Bain, where is he? he, he he's under guard, father. Good. You and the Sergeant, take a few of the men and go pronounce his present death. His present death? You mean shortly? I mean now. Right away. I'll see it done, Father. Hail King Duncan! Hail, Hail King, King Duncan! Do you have any uh, specific instructions, sir? Instructions? Well, I mean, sir, do you have any preference in the matter? Do you wish to have the Thane of Cordor executed by any particular method? No, I try not to dwell on this kind of unpleasantness. What do you suggest? Well, 
We could, uh, we could hang them. No, 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 no. We could behead them. No, no. We could garrot them. No, no, no. We could no. cut out No, no, no. Sergeant, I find the insensitivity of these suggestions quite nauseating. There must be a more civilised way of doing it. I suppose we could boil them in oil. No, no, no. Nothing long drawn out. The order was his pleasant death. We need something quick, clean, convenient. Firing squad. What about a firing squad? Yes, a firing squad. That would be quick and quite clean from an aesthetic point of view. No, it's out of the question. Well, sir, well, we can't have a firing squad. We don't have any guns. It's only the 11th century. They haven't invented guns yet. Are you quite sure about that, sir? The text does mention guns, you know. As cannons overcharged with double cracks. Act 1, scene 2, sir. Yes, I've noticed that. That's what the critics call an anachronism. A what, sir? An anachronism. When the author mentions something which hasn't been invented yet, like, say, a chiming clock, Act 3, scene 2, Fleon says, I have not heard the clock. A oh. clock? Yes. What's a clock? Yes, I don't yeah. wish to seem critical, but it does happen quite a lot, you know. Yes, sir, I don't see why we can't have a, an, an anach... An anach... An, an, an anachronism. Aye, sir, if we really need one. Yes, yes. Yes, well, there are precedents, I suppose. Yes, yes, why not? Yes, we shall have an anachronism. We shall have a firing squad. Yes, carry on, Sergeant. Oh, oh, you are familiar with the proper procedure, I take it. What, sir? A blindfold on a cigarette. C c cigarette, sir? Yes, it's considered a decent thing. What's a cigarette, sir? I'm afraid it's another anachronism. Do you think you can arrange it? <laughs> we'll do our best, sir. <laughs> carry on, Sergeant. Sir! <laughs> firing squad! <laughs> 